Wind power, small hydro, landfill gas and concentrated solar power technologies will all fetch a higher price for the electricity they produce, from Eskom, which will run the single buyer office. This higher tariff allows renewable energy project developers to cover their costs and make a decent return on investment, because renewable energy is more expensive to generate than coal-fired power. The refit has been outlined and now the details are being finalised. I know that the regulator and ESCOM and DME are looking at this in a lot of detail. As far as I'm aware, the, the, I think the, the key issue now is finalising the power purchase agreement, which I understand is, is being developed over the, next, over the coming few months. There will still be other issues in terms of um, if, if, if there's a requirement for um, grid upgrades and for you know, improving the transmission networks, then there are some costs involved. And, and to improve the transmission networks is an expensive activity and it can take quite a number of years to put in place. So there's issues about how that will be managed that still need to be sort out, sorted out and, and issues also around you know, who, who pays for, for these sort of costs and how those costs are passed on. Um, also, there are some issues regarding the size of certain technologies of what is going to be brought into the refit. So small details, but the principles of the refit are there, the price is there, and if they can get the power purchase agreement, we can get projects happening. I would like to see projects, the principles of projects in place and applications moving by the end of this year. I don't see that as a problem. The regulator has also said it will consider including other technologies, such as solar photovoltaics, which were initially left out of the scheme. Said to be just too expensive by some, Others feel that in a country with as much sunshine as South Africa, photovoltaics should certainly play a part in meeting the country's renewable energy targets. Uh, I'm, I'm much more positive now because with the, with the price decreases in recent months and in recent years, it, it's starting to have the potential to, to be looked at seriously. If you looked at this maybe two years ago, solar PV would have been too expensive. And I think that's why it, it wasn't part of the priority technologies initially discussed, because it was way too expensive. But we're seeing a price reduction now, significant price reductions. And if we can actually grow the market, we will see further reductions. Admittedly, it's more expensive. But Camco says there are also many benefits, and that solar PV could be included in the refit, with a suggested tariff of 2N98.